so uh, today we are going to continue with the previous topic that we started uh, human geography humanistic approach humanistic approach in geography uh, in the previous lecture we discussed that uh, this approach grew as a negative reaction against the positivism and quantitative revolution because positivist ideology did not believed in human values morals and customs and humanistic approach was all about these aspects that human mo mo morals values and customs culture so behavioral uh, this humanistic approach grew as a negative reaction against positivism and quantitative revolution and precisely it was against the methodologies and tools and techniques adopted by this quantitative revolution because these tools and techniques used to ignore they do not they never addressed human issues relating to values customs and morals and humanistic geography said you cannot ignore the moral value and customs religion likes and dislikes because that is all human beings are all about so as a result we discussed kir came attracting wide audience then yufi tuan coining the term humanistic geography and then we discussed basically this geography this approach believes in man and the capacity of man and woman in changing the circumstances of their life by by thinking and acting for themselves by their capacity of reason they can bring about drastic changes in their circumstances and we discussed how kant made the beginning then february and blash came then hart shown in his book perspective in human geography pleaded for the cause of humanism and humanistic geography says the central the focus of humanistic geography the four pillars of humanistic geography is that it accounts active and uh, active role for human agency that is humanistic geography gives central and active role to human agency human awareness human consciousness and human creativity these are the four active pillars and yufi tuan ultimately laid the foundation of uh, this humanistic approach and he has also given five themes in geography geographical knowledge territory and place crowding and privacy economics and livelihood and fifth is religion so today we'll discuss the these aspects of humanistic geography this humanistic geography was not developed as an approach so it never tried to develop its own theoretical base and we will discuss here why so its sole purpose was to bring uh, to make the geographers aware about the hidden implications and the of the research and the methodologies adopted by positivist approach what implication negative implication it may have its sole objective was to make geographers aware about the negative implications of these methodologies because positivist revolution in 20th century said scientific study will remove ignore all the human characteristics those things related to human characteristics will not come in the ambit of scientific studies so we discussed this last time can you recall we discussed these things that uh, this is the focus of humanistic geography on people and their condition and basically it tries to study earth as a home of man isn't it so it it had certain similarities with behavioralism that both are anthropocentric man centric both are multidisciplinary both reject physical determinism and both are closer to possibilism that is what we studied and then i told you it has shifted from its previous attack on positivism to have assault on structuralism structuralism means uh, the human behavior can be predicted by the underlying social socio cultural aspects that is structuralism man is everywhere bound by social economic and political structure isn't it so now let us see what have been the guiding philosophies what has have been the guiding philosophies of humanistic approach the three most important sources of inspiration the three most important sources of inspiration to 
humanistic approach have been three philosophies three philosophies the three most important source of inspiration to humanistic approach have been three philosophies and today we will discuss these three philosophies try to understand properly philosophy means philosophy one idealism or idealistic approach one of the main inspiration for humanistic approach in human geography has been the philosophy of idealism or idealistic approach second philosophy has been phenomenology or phenomenological approach and the third philosophy has been existentialism in teen philosophy ko you have to understand properly and i will try my level best to make you understand thoroughly so these three philosophies have been the source of inspiration to humanistic approach in human geography right idealistic approach phenomenal approach phenomenology phenomenological or phenomenal phenomen phenomenological or phenomenal approach phenomenology or existentialism first idealism or idealistic approach this approach was developed by harris and gulike harris and gulike in 1971 both were together at university of toronto harris and gulike the two major pillars of idealism is first idealism is a system of philosophy that believes reality as residing in mind or reality as constructed or constituted by mind first idealism as a is a system of philosophy which regards reality as residing in mind reality as abhi samjhaunga residing in mind or reality as uh, constituted by mind what the real world is we do not know we know only what the reality is perceived by our mind we know, do not know what is real we know what the image that we make in our mind this approach believes reality as residing in mind or reality as constituted by mind hamara dimag kya image banata hai what image our mind makes of the real world that is real we do not know what is objective right second pillar is this philosophy limits knowledge this philosophy of idealism limits knowledge human understanding hamari human understanding to the perception of external object human understanding ab iska matlab samjhaunga human understanding this ideology limits 
human's understanding as perception of external objects this approach limits it limits human understanding to as as perception of external objects again the same thing what we perceive our mind perception of external object means what perception we have of the external object ab dhyan se sunna ab isko main samjhane ja raha hu right now suppose any person performs any action any person performs any action every act is preceded by a thought and these thoughts are guided by the mental construct ideas residing in your mind abhi samajh mein aa jayega इतना समझ में आया इफ <laughs> बहुत सिंपल करके बता रहा हूं वट एवर अ पर्सन एक्ट हिज एक्शन आर डिटरमाइंड बाई हिज थॉट्स एंड हिज थॉट्स आर अल्टीमेटली द रिजल्ट ऑफ हिज मेंटल कंस्ट्रक्ट और द थियोरिटिकल कंस्ट्रक्ट और द आइडियोलॉजीज दैट ही हैज फ्रेम्ड अभी डिटेल में बताऊंगा दिस थ्योरी से in human geography idealism has been interpreted as a method idealism idealism is interpreted as a method by which you can know the thoughts of that person you can rethink the thoughts of that person who committed that act fir se bolta hu इन ह्यूमैनिस्टिक किसी आदमी ने कोई एक्ट किया अ पर्सन कमिट्स एन एक्ट एक्ट मतलब एक्ट कुछ भी करता है दिस इज अ मैथडोलॉजी इन ह्यूमैनिस्टिक अप्रोच इन ह्यूमन जोग्राफी आइडलिज्म इज इंटरप्रिटेड एज अ मैथडोलॉजी बाय विच यू कैन रीथिंक द थॉट्स ऑफ द ऑफ दैट पर्सन हु कमिटेड द एक्ट अभी पूरा क्लियर कर दूंगा मैं नहीं भैरवी भाई सुबह सुबह उठ के बादाम खाया करो बादाम ना भिगो के रख दो खाया करो और और नहीं सही बता सी री शाम को भिगो दिए सुबह खाए और फिर थोड़े चा, चार पांच काजू और चार पांच तुलसी के पत्ते उससे मेमोरी दो प्रॉब्लम होती हैं एक तो चीज़ें याद नहीं होती हैं दूसरी प्रॉब्लम होती है याद हो जाती हैं बाद में भूल जाते हैं है ना वो दोनों प्रॉब्लम से कवर कवर हो जाएंगे कंसंट्रेशन बढ़ेगा सर्टेन डाइटरी हैबिट्स इंप्रूव योर मेमोरी पावर आइडियलिज्म इज अ मेथड इन ह्यूमन जोग्राफी थ्रू विच यू कैन रीथिंक द थॉट्स ऑफ दैट पर्सन एन अदर पर्सन हु कमिटेड अ एक्शन सिंपल आइडियलिज्म बिलीव्स any action is always preceded by a rational thought ab yahan rational ka matlab kya hai matlab as per his best knowledge every person acts as per his best knowledge rational thought means whatever thought wo rational economic man wala nahi matlab whatever we think we think rationally according to our level of understanding this rational thought is governed by theoretical construct or mental construct at the back of your mind it is a system of ideas theoretical construct is what is a system of ideas or theories in mind which a man develops or which which these ideas or theories have significant impact of your social cultural 
बैकग्राउंड योर रिलीजन एंड योर इंट्रैक्शन विद एनवायरमेंट नाउ वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इट क्लियर ह्यूमन माइंड कैन बी डिवाइड टू टू टाइप्स वन इज कॉन्शियस माइंड कॉन्शियस माइंड इज थिंकिंग माइंड वन इज सबकॉन्शियस माइंड माइंड विच इज हैबिचुअल ऑल द मेंटल इमेजेस आर हियर वॉट एवर वी इंट्रैक्ट इन डेली लाइफ वी वी मेक इमेजेस इन अ माइंड दो इमेजेस लाए इन योर सबकॉन्शियस माइंड योर रूटीन हैबिट्स ये खुजला रही हो यहां पर इट इज हैबिचुअल सम पीपल डू लाइक दिस हैबिचुअल सम पीपल डू लाइक इट इज हैबिचुअल इट इज हैबिचुअल माइंड this habitual mind plays a important role in decision making but ideas are something more than that ideas are also creative and creative thinking is done only by conscious mind isko tum mental image ko leke confuse mat ho na mental image is part of it ideas can be creative thoughts are we can be creative decision making ek alag cheez hai and thoughts at times you think out of box at times when you are pushed to the wall you start creative thinking of bachne ke liye kya karna padega that is also a decision making but that is creative that involves conscious mind then no more you are acting on image or belief jab jaan aafat mein hoti hai to belief belief sab ek side apni jaan bachane ke liye aadmi start, man starts thinking out of box are you getting what i want to say I want to say ideas or ideas or thoughts are different from decision making. Decision making is a routine process, like budget making. Planning requires planning. Anitya, it requires thinking out of box. How to best possible make use of resources? Best human mind in India is goes to planning. In other countries, it goes to human resource development. Best mind, सबसे ज़्यादा है. So here, when we talk about rational thought, it means idea and decision making routine decision making is guided by this subconscious mind that is mental image it is what it is mental image by routine work ke liye you don't think creatively ideally you should but 95% of time you are guided by subconscious mind that is your mental images mental perception cognitive perception or subjective conception whatever you may call it it is mental image mental image ke kai naam liye cognition subjective conception mental perception isn't it it's all mental image this determines your routine behavior but when you start to think thought thinking is the highest activity that humans can perform when you think you do not solely depend on these images you also think creatively pehle kabhi experience nahi ki achanak se thought aaya ek when you are contemplating and thinking that is not based on your images that is Thoughts are creative. अगर creative नहीं होते, तो फिर तो things would have been kept on repeating. You will keep on repeating the same thing. A new idea, creativity, is the sole asset of human being. So here I want to say, human action is the result of rational thought. Thought is the result of theoretical construct or mental construct. ये क्या है? these this is made up of various ideas and theories in human mind these ideas they you may have derived from social experience cultural experience your religious background or from ob experience of objective world very important experience of objective world so this if you know the action you can find out the theory theories going behind in his mind what all theories are working behind this act in human geography idealism has been interpreted as a method by which one can rethink the thoughts of a person whose actions he want to explain if you want to explain the actions of that person you need to know the theoretical construct or theories kept in his mind they will lead to this mental construct will lead to thought and thought will lead to action so this approach humans in human geography idealism has been interpreted as a method by which one can rethink what these the thoughts everything by knowing this your action you a person by 
seeing the action he can rethink the thoughts of that person whose actions he wants to explain so idealism is a method by which one can rethink the thoughts of those whose actions a person uh, the scholar wants to explain he can rethink the thoughts why because according to idealistic approach and ek broad iska objective idealistic approach ka ye broad objective ye hai earth surface pe jo bhi human structures hain whatever whatever is there on the earth surface um, man made especially man made features they reflect the thoughts of some people these man made features of the earth reflect what the thoughts of that people if you come to know the thoughts you can know why this pattern has come into existence according to guleke the idealistic approach in human geography seeks to understand the development of earth cultural landscape development of earth cultural landscape by revealing or by uncovering the thought that lies behind them number of people's thought process would have acted to create the cultural landscape idealistic approach according to guleke in human geography tries to understand the development of earth's cultural landscape how how to understand earth's cultural landscape by uncovering the thoughts that underlie that pattern that by understanding the thoughts that created that pattern because every action is ka result hoga pattern this action lead to a particular pattern isn't it if you want to the see the why this action has been taken why this pattern has been created you need to know the thoughts and the mental constructs of the individuals behind those actions and behind those patterns got it so it is a method by which you can uh, what you, you can rethink the thoughts of the person whose actions you want to explain human geographer does not need theories of his own why because he is concerned with the theories expressed in the actions of individuals whenever an individual act some theoretical construct is behind that act which leads to thought and thought leads to action humanist in human geography humanistic approach does not need theories of his own because humanistic geographer is concerned with theories expressed in the actions of individuals he is concerned what theories are responsible he seek to find out the theories the theories expressed in the action of individual because idealists believe all actions are the result of rational thought and all rational thoughts are the result of theoretical construct behind human mind and this theoretical construct is a system of ideas that man has in his mind because of socio cultural influence because of religious influence because of because of his experience of reality these ideas so by studying the action you can come to know the theories lying behind that action so to idealist all actions result from rational thought which are the result of theoretical construct present at the back of the mind and such theor theor theoretical constructs may be any system of ideas that man has and these ideas are they may have the in, they are part of his socio cultural environment they are part of his religion they are part of his interaction with the environment for an idealist the explanation of this action is complete once he comes to know the goals and he comes to know the understanding of this person of the situation for an idealist the explanation of the action the explanation of action is complete when the individual's goal and theoretical understanding of the situation has been discovered if you discover the mental construct then you can discover why he thought 
it will reveal his goal goal this will also reveal his uh, understanding of the situation in which he committed an act if you understand if once the goal and the understanding of that person of that environment has been revealed the explanation for the action is complete are you getting this इनको अपनी थ्योरीज क्यों नहीं चाहिए क्योंकि इनका इंटरेस्ट अपनी थ्योरीज में नहीं है दे वांट टू नो व्हाई मैन आर टेकिंग इन सच अ वे व्हाई दे आर एक्टिंग इन सच अ वे दैट कैन बी रिवील्ड इफ यू कम टू नो द थ्योरिटिकल कंस्ट्रक्ट और थ्योरीज लाइंग एट द बैक ऑफ द माइंड इट इज दीज थ्योरीज दैट जनरेट थॉट एंड द थॉट क्रिएट्स एक्शन सो to an idealist the explanation for an action is complete once you come to know the goals of the individual and once you come to know the uh, understanding of his situation in which situation he acted like this this is all revealed by this theoretical construct lying at the back of his mind right so by studying his action you can reconstruct the theories and you can rethink them why the particular act was acted idealist is a concern with what the individual believed they are not concerned why he believed bhai unko kewal le jana this action was committed by, by by because of these theoretical constructs why these theoretical constructs they are not concerned idealist is concerned with what the actor believed the person who has taken action is actor what the actor believed what actor believed can be explained by this theoretical theoretical construct or ideas of system of ideas present in his mind they will reveal what he believed idealist are not at all concerned why he believed they are concerned only with what he believed what he believed can be revealed by the theories and ideas present in his mind according to idealist all knowledge is the result of objective experience of real world is it all jati hai according to idealist all knowledge is ultimately based on individuals objective experience of the world we experience and derive some conclusion that becomes a knowledge objective experience is all jati hai <clears throat> and comprise this knowledge that is obtained from the objective experience of individual this knowledge comprises of mental construct and ideas but is pa iska social huge influence will be there of society economy and culture where he has been groomed up and his religion iska bhi impact hoga but basically how you derive knowledge by objective experience by experiencing something you derive knowledge ha this knowledge is having huge impact of your society economy and culture society and culture especially and your religion they deeply impact so according to idealist an individual or individuals objective experience of the world is the source of all knowledge and this knowledge resides at the back of his mind in the form of mental construct theoretical construct means mental construct and ideas this resides in his mind there is no real world there is no real world that can be known independent of the mind there is no real world according to idealists they are true which can be known independent of human mind माइंड से ही तो हम नॉलेज को वर्ल्ड को देखते हैं दे इज नो रियल वर्ल्ड ऐसी कोई रियल वर्ल्ड नहीं है दैट कैन बी नोन इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन माइंड बिना माइंड के दे इज नो वर्ल्ड मेडिटेशन में बैठ जाओ आंख बंद करके कुछ मत सोचो कुछ नहीं होगा आंखें खोलोगे दुनिया सामने होगी तुम्हारी आंखें बंद कर लेने से दुनिया तो खत्म नहीं हो गई लेकिन तुम्हारे लिए हो गई क्लोज योर आईज स्टार्ट स्टॉप थिंकिंग इन मेडिटेशन mind is not functioning mind is not functioning your 
thought process is zero world is becomes zero it's all dark so no real world can exist without human mind there is no real world that can be known independently of mind this was idealistic approach samjh aaya very important samjh aaya beta second phenomenology other humanist geographers adopted phenomenal approach some adopted idealistic approach some humanistic geographers adopted phenomenal approach this approach its objective is to clarify the social conception social conception first you must know the meaning of this this approach seeks uh, the other humanistic uh, adopted uh, phenomenal approach this approach seeks to clarify social conceptions which are which is a essential condition for social existence it is an essential condition for social existence social consumption means there are certain social code of conduct the way you need to behave in society what you need not speak among elders kuch social conduct hote hain that are in your mind agar tum jaate hi mohalle mein maa behan ki gali shuru kar do tumko you will be socially boycotted bevda aadmi hai to there are so certain social code of conduct and man has to abide by those social codes and these social codes are in the form of social conceptions in his mind उसको मालूम है कि इन दिस सोसाइटी मुझे कैसे बिहेव करना है अपने यार दोस्तों के बीच में मुझे अब वहां तुम जेंटलमैन बने रहोगे तो मजाक बनाएंगे ले आ गया यार दोस्तों में तो यू हैव यू हैव टू बिहेव अकॉर्डिंग टू सोशल कोड दिस सोशल कंसेप्शन शुड बी इन योर माइंड इट इज मस्ट फॉर सोशल एग्जिस्टेंस यूजली अनमेरिड पीपुल्स आर नॉट सोशल एनिमल्स घर गृहस्थी वाले लोग होते हैं मेरी तरह वो दे आर सोशल वो लड़के आ जाते हैं ऊपर रात में उधम मचाते हैं शोर शराबा करते हैं दे आर टेकन टू बी एंटी सोशल उधम मचाएंगे रात को तेज वॉल्यूम पे गाना गाएंगे सो दे दिस सोशल कंसेप्शन बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट व्हेन अ पर्सन बिकम्स इंटीग्रेटेड पार्ट ऑफ सोसाइटी कल्चर इट इज मस्ट फॉर इट इज मस्ट फॉर एग्जिस्टेंस सोशल कंसेप्शन का मतलब है इन योर माइंड यू नो द सोशल कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट वॉट आई नीड टू डू इन दिस सिचुएशन हाउ आई नीड टू बिहेव वॉट टाइप ऑफ लैंग्वेज आई नीड टू यूज राइट नाउ लेट एस बिगिन विद दिस थ्योरी दिस एप्रोच इज एक्सट्रीमली क्रिटिकल टू द पॉजिटिविस्ट आइडियोलॉजी ऑफ Empiricism. Positivist, what do they do? Positivist believe in empiric empiricism. Positivism is empiricism. What is empirical means what is objective, what is real, what can be experimented, what can be touched, what can be experienced. These are empirical. Empirical means practical. This. ध्यान से सुना बेटा वेरी वेरी कीनली द एप्रोच इज क्रिटिकल टू पॉजिटिविस्ट कमिटमेंट टू एम्पेरिसम भाई पॉजिटिव कहते हैं वी नीड नॉट अंडरस्ट वी नीड नॉट बॉदर अबाउट ह्यूमन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स रिमूव द ह्यूमन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स फ्रॉम साइंटिफिक स्टडी ह्यूमन वैल्यूज ह्यूमन कल्चर ह्यूमन कस्टम्स ह्यूमन बिहेवियर ह्यूमन लाइक्स एंड डिसलाइक ये कहते हैं क्या बेवकूफी भरी बात है पॉजिटिविस्ट हैव दे कमिटमेंट टू ऑब्जेक्टिव वर्ल्ड ऑब्जेक्टिव वॉट इज एम्पेरिसम इज ऑट वॉट इज रियलिटी वॉट इज ऑब्जेक्टिव दे इग्नोर सब्जेक्टिविटी बाई ह्यूमन माइंड इज सब्जेक्टिव डोंट इंक्लूड इट बट दे से वॉट एक्चुअली दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव वर्ल्ड इज हाउ अ पर्सन कम्स टू नो 
he comes to know this objective world by his sensory perception cultural filters in the form of mental image the mental image gives a specific shape to this objective world different people from different culture will view the same object differently same even differently even if you are studying the objective world how will you come to know the what is reality nobody knows everybody knows what he perceives in his mind so how can you be objective meri baat samajh mein aa rahi hai positivist commitment to empiricism they say we are very scientific people we ignore values and everything we study as things they are by as things they are who will tell you who knows the reality everybody perceives the object or real world from his cultural filter and makes an image he gives different shape to the same event so how will you come to the objective world because every person is by natural subjective he has been born brought up in a groomed in a particular culture and the cultural filters are bound to act how a scientific a person may be so what is objective kaise pata lagaoge the meaning of the objective will change for different persons because they are from different cultural background listen carefully this approach is critical to positivist commitment to empiricism they say bhai we see world as it is what can we touched experience experimented right repeated experiment in which they completely ignore mental conception kya objective world has you know man i culture value they do ignore they completely ignore the questions like culture values morals customs so they totally ignore the mental conception mental conception they completely bypass they complete in, in their study of objectivity they completely bypass mental perception so in their commitment to empiricism or objectivity the possibilist totally ignore possibility of mental perception or it is taken for granted it is not bothered about what will be the mental image they totally ignore it no need is felt to say anything about the preconceived notions or the mental images nothing uh, no, there is no need is felt to talk about these mental images on which the objective reality depends what is the objective reality nobody knows everybody will interpret it according to his mental perception which is shaped or molded by his culture to so, tum objectivity padh ke sakte ho are you getting my point they say you are talking about objective world actually what reality really exists is interpreted differently by different people because of the cultural norms so what is objective subjectivity has already creeped in and you are studying subjective things in objective way how is it possible man is a subjective man this approach is this phenomenal approach is critical of positivist commitment to empiricism that is study of study of objective study empiricism means objective study in which the possibility of mental perception or conception or cognition that is is so much taken for granted that no need is felt to say anything about mental perception mental perception ko ignore kar dete hain on which the on which the positivists various object objectification necessarily depend by what a thing is objectively objectification of a event depends upon his image how will you objective how will you find out objectivity objectivity means objectivity itself involve subjectivity because of mental perception how can you be objective it is a line bahut important hai yaad rakhna it is mental perception which determine as which determine an object as this ye tumhara mental perception batayega this object is this 
see different people from different backgrounds will perceive the objective environment differently it is your mental perception that determines an object as this for different cultural background the mental perception is different so object is different the positivist fail according to phenomenal approach positivist fail to recognize the difference between objective and behavioral environment if you go through the language of the book you will be surprised it's very difficult language is so tricky i have made it very simple to all, to the phenomenologist to the phenomenologist all cognitive experiences what is cognitive experience cognitive experience means how individual see and interpret his surrounding reality cognitive experience means how an individual see and interpret his surrounding reality to phenomenologist all cognitive experiences jitne bhi hamare cognitive experiences hote hain possess an intentional structure that means mental image or all our cognitive experiences the how we see and interpret a thing they are shaped by intentional structure means mental image all our experiences are determined by our mental image through which objects are made to mean something specific to an individual or group bhai it is a mental image that gives specific shape to the object hai na without mental image they are saying the all cognitive experiences that what uh, how individuals see and interpret the reality surrounding them have possess an intention and they all cognitive experience possess an intentional structure in mind that is mental image through which objects are made to mean something this image gives meaning to the reality this image gives meaning to the reality through which objects are made to mean something specific to an individual or group first to introduce the phenomenal approach in human geography was ralph ralph first to introduce phenomenal approach in human geography was ralph to phenomenologist to phenomenologist there is no objective world independent of man's existence jab hum hi nahi honge to duniya kahan se hogi there is no objective world independent of man's existence hum hi nahi honge दुनिया कहां होगी सेकेंड ऑल नॉलेज प्रोसीड फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस ऑल नॉलेज प्रोसीड फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस एंड कैन नॉट बी इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ दैट वर्ल्ड नॉलेज कैन नॉट बी इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ दैट वर्ल्ड भाई यू एक्वायर नॉलेज बाय वे ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस है ना बाय वे ऑफ वर्ल्डली वर्ल्डली एक्सपीरियंस and can, they cannot be independent of that world all knowledge proceeds from the world of experience and cannot be independent of that world because world hi nahi hogi to experience kahan se hoga ab ek sabse important approach ki bata raha hu thoda dimag khula rakhna ye mante hain the students of phenomenologist when he studies any subject or any individual's action he is totally blank he has no preconceived notion or subjective conceptions in his mind a student of phenomenology when he started his studies matlab usne dimag ko blank karke padhta hai his mental construct theoretical construct um, perceptions all he ignores because he is focused on the subjectivity of the subject being studied by this aadmi ko padh raha hai he is this the object or the individual whom he is studying 
कि दिस दैट पर्सन इट सेल्फ इज हैविंग सब्जेक्टिविटी और उसमें ये अपनी भी सब्जेक्टिविटी घुसेड़ देगा तो क्या होगा इफ ही स्टडीज विद प्री कंसीव नोशन एंड प्री कंसीव एप्रीहेंशन विद बिल्ट अप इमेज ही विल ट्राई टू इंटरप्रिट समथिंग दिस अप्रोच से इज नो डोंट घुसेड़ो फाउ योर ओन इंटरप्रिटेशन बी ब्लैंक एंड स्टडी द सब्जेक्टिविटी ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट बींग स्टडीड आइए because the individual who is being studied he is also unpredictable and you are also unpredictable and when you study with a preconceived notion you will perceive those actions of that individual with your perception your perception is not required we want to know his perception then you must be neutral just like man is creative environment is neutral you must be neutral then only you can know his perception his subjectivity his unpredictability the student of phenomenology has no presupposition no preconceptions no mental image blank jana hota usko ekdam blank he does not use his own mental construct no he will not use his own mental image in seeking to understand in trying to understand those of his subject being studied his objective is to study the mental construct of his subject while studying that mental construct of his subject he will not use his own mental images or pre his own preconceived notions or conceptions right because he is more concerned with the subjectivity of the subject being studied rather his own subjectivity samjha hai beta the student of phenomenology has no presupposition no preconception he does not use his own mental construct apni mental image ko zero bana ke chalta hai in seeking in trying to understand those means mental images of his subject those of his subject being studied the subjectivity of phenomenologist the subjectivity of phenomenologist research the subjectivity of phenomenologist research is that of the subject being studied not of the student not getting ye mai abhi bataya matlab the student who is studying he is supposed to have no preconceptions preconceptions no subjective perception no mental image here subjectivity is only of the subject being studied the subjectivity of phenomenology phenomenological research the subjectivity of phenomenological research is that of the subject being studied not of the student because student should act as neutral otherwise his subjectivity and the subjectivity of the subject will intermix and he will predict them differently and different students will predict the same subject differently so while studying the subject you have to focus on the subjectivity of the subject and you have to make yourself neutral tumhe judgmental nahi hona hai mai bahut badi tendency hoti hai we become judgmental very soon are sir bhi kya fickle minded hain sham ko kuch kehte hain subah kuch kehte hain sir to aise hi hain don't make judgments because you don't know you do not know what the other person is passing through and what circumstances he has come to come to the situation you never know anything about it the yahan par student should be neutral no preconceived notion bus facts is fact likhte jana hai aisa 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 no judgment which is possible only if you are blank you are neutral you simply give the uh, details of the subject that you study without any biasness the biggest propounder of humanistic approach yu fi tuan was follower of phenomenological approach yu fi tuan was the founder and i will discuss him in detail he gave he was a follower of phenomenal phenomenological approach phenomenological approach Yufi Tuan identified five major themes that I will discuss in detail today. He identified five major themes for research in humanistic geography. He identified five major themes 
for research why to understand how geographical activities or geographical geographical phenomena the various geographical activity and various geographical phenomena how these ac geographical activities and geographical phenomena reveal about the quality of human awareness bahut important nahi samjha abhi samjhayenge panch do themes hain इन्होंने पांच थीम्स दी रिसर्च के लिए ही गेव फाइव थीम्स फॉर रिसर्च इन ह्यूमनिस्टिक अप्रोच एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव वाज हाउ जोग्राफिकल इवेंट्स और जोग्राफिकल एक्टिविटीज और जोग्राफिकल फिनोमिना रिवील द क्वालिटी ऑफ ह्यूमन अवेयरनेस हाउ अवेयर अ ह्यूमन इज व्हाट इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ इज अवेयरनेस is revealed by how geographical activities and events reveal the quality of human awareness so he gave five themes for research in order to understand how geographical activities and geographical events or geographical phenomena reveal the quality of human awareness these five themes were geographical knowledge territory and place crowding and privacy uh livelihood and economics and fifth was religion we will study teesri philosophy padhne existentialism the third major source of inspiration for humanistic geography was the philosophy of एग्जिस्टेंशियलिज्म बहुत बढ़िया अल्टीमेट मुझे तो सबसे अपीलिंग यही लगी एग्जिस्टेंशियलिज्म पहले तो मैं इसको स्पेल नहीं कर पाता था एग्जिस्टेंशियलिज्म मतलब ये कहते हैं एवरी लैंडस्केप एवरी फ्यूचर फिनोमिना इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ हैंडीक्राफ्ट ऑफ समवन एल्स this approach believes for existentialism every landscape there's someone who can be held accountable for by for every landscape physical landscape nature is responsible cultural landscape man is responsible in specific area specific people are responsible so they say for every landscape there is someone there is someone who is responsible or accountable for for every landscape there is someone who can be held accountable who is accountable as a result in this approach landscape is studied as biographies landscapes by any cultural landscape is the result of someone's activity yahan cultural landscape le lo any cultural landscape is the result of someone's activity so these landscapes are just like biographies biographies are what they are an account of someone's life written by somebody else biography is an account of someone's life written by somebody else landscape is account of someone's life you are giving account of landscape you are giving account of someone life and somebody else is responsible for matlab samne aa raha hai landscape is an account you give of someone's life 
you take this account of someone's life as landscape the type of landscape existing you are giving account of the cultural landscape you can compare it with account of someone's life here you are giving account of landscape there is someone else who is responsible for which is written by somebody else this landscape has been shaped by somebody else are you getting this he has compared landscape with biographies the landscape is the result of somebody else account just like somebody's life is written by somebody else ye samna hai beta clear in some in ex existential terms human geography becomes history of man's encounter with himself basically any landscape is the study of social cultural and political interaction of man with man in these spheres man interact with man in social sphere man interact with man in cultural sphere man interact with man in political sphere and this results in cultural landscape am i wrong social organization social outlook so, so political organization they shape cultural landscape basically man interacts with man in social economic and cultural sphere that is the result of that results into cultural landscape so he says existential no existential approach believes human geography becomes history of man's encounter with himself in an anthropocentric world order when you are studying the cultural landscape the cultural landscape of any place can be viewed as history of man's encounter with man man's interaction with man in various spheres that leads to cultural landscape in anthropocentric world landscape reflect two primal needs of human beings primal means very important landscape reflect two primal needs of man one is prospect second is refuge prospect refuge landscape reflect two very primary needs of man prospect he needs something to survive need to matlab need search for means of survival bhai landscape provides the means of survival and landscape provides him protection from forces which can terminate his survival in the form of shelter prospect means the need for the need to search for means of survival the need to search for means of survival this is provided by landscape landscape reflect two primary needs the landscape reflect two primary needs one is prospect that is need to survival and need to refuge nature acts as shelter to protect the man from forces that pose threat to his survival now let us see the five themes of you if you tian you fit one dekho whatever we are discussing iske bahar koi question nahi aa sakta aur dekho in human geography ultimately you will have to cram kitna bhi samajh lo kitna bhi samajh lo samajhne se yaad karna aasan ho jata hai because without remembering you can write you cannot write in within stipulated time limit now let us come on to the five themes for research ufi tuan gave five themes for research 
to understand how geographical phenomena or geographical activities reveal the quality of human awareness geographical knowledge territory and place um uh, kisa tha crowding and crowding and privacy fourth livelihood and economics fifth religion to understand how environmental events or activities reveal the quality of human awareness first geographical knowledge and its role in human survival ये अप्रोच मानती है बाय बर्थ वी आर जोग्राफर वी हैव अ जोग्राफिकल एंटीना ऑन आर हेड एंड वी ऑल कीप ऑन इवेल्युएटिंग द एनवायरमेंट कीप ऑन परसीविंग द एनवायरमेंट वी ऑल आर जोग्राफर्स आई एल डिस्कस इट लेटर ऑन तो जोग्राफिकल नॉलेज एंड इट्स रोल इन ह्यूमन सर्वाइवल ह्यूमन क्या सर्वाइवल ऑफ एनी लिविंग स्पीशीज इट इज एन एनिमल इंस्टिंक्ट you know instinct we have sensory perception touch taste hear see it is because of these sensory perception we have become so overwhelmingly dependent on those sensory perceptions that we have lost the capability of instinct gut feeling gut feeling agar tum chahte ho i can tell you the method you can revive your instinct Prelims is all about instinct. यही होना चाहिए. Yes, it's not about knowledge. You start, you make a habit of closing your eyes and moving in your room, in your home. You will see once you close one sensory perception, and secondly, you can also close your ears, and then start moving. Your inst. If you start doing it, world-renowned method है ये. आंखें बंद करे चलना. you will see your instinct and gut feeling will improve animals may of primitive peoples mein 2004 mein tsunami aayi thi kitne log mare gaye padhe likhe moderate educated in andaman nicobar not a single tribal was killed sab ped pe chad gaye they are so close in identity with nature their instincts are very strong instincts of animals are far more stronger than man because man has more sensory perception we rely on more on sensory perception instinct polynesia in pacific islands polynesians they are very great cartographers without any formal knowledge padha likha aadmi unke aage bheek maangega basically that is because of god gift god gifted this instinct equally to all but what happened we started making more use of our sensory perception geographical knowledge siberian birds utti hain aur unke dimag mein mental map hota hai of the route and they again go back to their native place geographical knowledge every person has irrespective of his training in geography every animal has geographical knowledge in general broadly conceived knowledge of geography is necessary to biological survival not of human for any species all species have geographical understanding all species we'll discuss broad matlab not in depth knowledge of geography it is saying in general broadly conceived knowledge of geography broadly conceived knowledge of geography is uh, necessary to biological survival siberian birds migrate and these birds have a mental map inke dimag mein ek mental map aata hai 
भरतपुर सेंचुरी आती हैं इधर उधर जाती हैं एंड दे अगेन रिटर्न बैक हैव मेंटल मैप विच हेल्प देम टू फॉलो अ सेट रूट ऑफ माइग्रेशन दे फॉलो अ सेट रूट ऑफ माइग्रेशन नॉलेज ऑफ जोग्राफी इज अ एनिमल इंस्टिंक्ट विच इज प्रेजेंट फ्रॉम अ बर्थ नॉलेज ऑफ जोग्राफी इज एन एनिमल इंस्टिंक्ट दैट इज प्रिजर्व प्रेजेंट फ्रॉम आर बर्थ different species this geographical knowledge is developed to varying degrees in different species this sense of geographical knowledge you will find dog is has a very good knowledge tiger also of the territory of their space so basically every species has been gifted with this instinct of geographical knowledge it is an animal instinct having in all animals har janwar apna ghar janta hai चिड़िया अपना घोसला जानती है दुनिया भर में घुमाएगी अपने घोसले पे आएगी तो इट हैज नॉलेज अबाउट जोग्राफी तो इट इज एन एनिमल इंस्टिंक्ट ये कहते हैं दिस जोग्राफिकल नॉलेज इज डेवलप्ड इन वेरिंग डिग्रीज इन डिफरेंट स्पीशीज मैन इज द सुपीरियर फॉर्म ऑफ लाइफ एंड हैज स्पेशल कैपेसिटी फॉर थॉट एंड कंटम्पलेशन वी आर क्रिएटिव बींग्स वी आर क्रिएटिव बींग्स even those people who are not formally trained in geography they have a very good sense of idea about space location place and resources in general har aadmi ko malum hota hai we have general sense perception of geography although the degree of articulation or articulation means organization of knowledge degree of articulation varies from people to people how how elegantly you are going to articulate this geographical knowledge how to articulate an answer how to organize this geographical knowledge how to organize this ge 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 geographical knowledge varies from people to people even some primitive people have extraordinary skill for example the polynesians of pacific islands are very able cartographers unhe koi formal training nahi mili hai as compared to materially more advanced people who lack the concept of map making padhe likhe logon ko nahi aata map making so basically i told you see the andaman islanders tsunami mein gajab ki baat hai well advanced societies bah gayi 2004 not a single tribal was killed they have closer identity to environment they have developed certain mechanism earthquake aata hai to chuhe nikal ke bhagne lagte hain chuhon ko pehle malum pad jata hai एनिमल इंस्टिंग प्रेजेंट इन ऑल स्पीशीज एंड डिफरेंट पीपल डेवलप्ड इट टू डिफरेंट levels second is territory and place it is also very important animal instinct tum dekh lo koi bhi gali ka kutta hoga har kutte ka ek ilaka hota hai har kutte ka ek ilaka hota hai kutta ho sher ho tiger ho honey bee they know their area very well and they and they react as if there is it is their own personal baap ki jagah hai and in fact not only to outside dogs people from outside also they are scared of them unknown people they don't try they don't allow to enter yes in my locality four five dogs are there basically they don't allow outsiders to enter and they are not pet dogs of anyone kisi ne tukda dal diya but the territory they think they believe that is their own territory it is also an important animal instinct some species of animal like honey bee tiger lion dogs defend their living space against the intruders they believe as they as they regard certain areas as their own wo apna maan ke chalte ye ilaka mera hai they appear to have a sense of belongingness to the territory ek apne ilake se bahar kutta nahi jayega maloom hai wo dusre kutte usko dora lenge they have a sense of belonging a sense of belongingness to their territory tuan coined a word to 
पो हिला तो सॉरी तो तो फो हिला वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ही सेड द सेम वे मैन ऑल्सो डेवलप्स अटैचमेंट बॉन्डेज और इमोशंस सेंटिमेंट्स विथ सर्टेन प्लेसेस सोचो जिस स्कूल में तुम बचपन में पढ़े थे तुम वहां जाओ यू विल नेचुरली बिकम नोस्टैल्जिक वंस यू आर सक्सेसफुल इन लाइफ you become the district magistrate of the same city in the where you studied and you visit the same school same class where you used to sit you have a sense of bondage there there is a charged feeling every space tophilia is the study of emotionally charged feeling attached to that place your place of birth nahi attachment man also has this bondage attachment sentiment emotions which Tofila, the Tuan coined the word Tofila as the study of place as an emotionally charged space. Emotionally charged space. Man is ah uh, ha. Tuan coined the term Tofila to describe the effective bond that develop between people and places. It develops a man develops sentimental attachment to a place. Tofohila concentrates on the study of places as carriers of emotionally charged feeling. कुछ जगह जाते ही तुम emotional हो जाओगे. You will have an attachment. मैं when I go to visit Bareilly and whenever I pass to my school, I get emotional. Even my school is away from that route. I used to go in my childhood days through bicycle. When I visit that place, go to pass through that lanes, I become emotional because that reveals my childhood. So Tofo. Tofohila, Tofohila, the term used by Kwan, concentrates on the study of places as carriers of emotionally charged feeling. Third, crowding and privacy. See, it is a found. It has been found that all men and animals in general prefer to avoid crowding. Crowding leads to stress. Both physical and psychological. Bhir bhar wale lake na they create animals and men both develop physical and psychological stress. अरे भाई at one point of time I used to visit Rajendragar from metro from this G T V Nagar. यहाँ एक before Rajiv Chowk there is a station Kashmiri Gate. जैसे ही वहाँ लोग ऐसे घुसते थे ना कसम से छोटा आदमी दब के रह जाए सांस घुट जाए मर जाए वहाँ पर मतलब इतनी तेजी से घुसते थे लोग कश्मीरी गेट आया नहीं मतलब ऐसा लगता था भीड़ घुसा एकदम जो कम हाइट के लगते सांस भी नहीं आती दबे दबे और जब उधर से आते तो कश्मीरी गेट पे सारी ट्रेन खाली पता नहीं क्या बात है कश्मीरी गेट पे तो बेसिकली क्राउडिंग क्रिएट स्ट्रेस साइकोलॉजिकल एंड फिजिकल बोथ फॉर मैन एंड एनिमल सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशन कल्चरल ग्रुपिंग एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हेल्प इन रिलीविंग द स्ट्रेस this get together basically they say culture social institution and infrastructure help in reducing the stress it has been found because of the socio cultural institutions like crowded places like hong kong hong kong is very crowded and in australia these cities are very relatively sparse puri australia ki population delhi se kam hai australia is मतलब थ्री टाइम्स टू एंड हाफ टाइम लार्जर देन इंडिया जिंडेड सोचो दिल्ली से कम है उसकी पूरी पॉपुलेशन तो टाउन आर वेरी रिलेटिवली स्पार्स बट वॉट वी फाउंड द डेवलप्ड सोशो कल्चरल इंस्टीट्यूशन इन हांगकॉन्ग हैज एंश्योर्ड दैट द क्राइम रेट डिस्पाइट सच क्राउडिंग इज नॉट मोर देन वॉट इज फाउंड इन स्पेशियस रिलेटिवली स्पार्सली पॉपुलेटेड सिटीज ऑफ अमेरिका एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया क्राइम रेट इज सेम बिकॉज ऑफ सोशल सोशो कल्चरल institutions similarly privacy and solitude helps a person in creating his own world where he can think and act and introspect introspect introspection in introspection introspect in himself from away from the gaze of society are you getting it he can think about himself privacy is required by every individual in varying degrees every individual requires privacy so privacy and solitude help 
अ पर्सन टू क्रिएट हिज ओन वर्ल्ड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर सेल्फ असेसमेंट कभी अकेले तो बैठोगे तभी तो असेस करोगे यू नीड सम सॉलिट्यूड एंड प्राइवेसी यू टू हैव सेल्फ असेसमेंट इंस्ट्रोस्पेक्शन ऑल पीपल नीड प्राइवेसी एंड डिग्री बट इट वेरी इन काइंड एंड अमाउंट सबको चाहिए Fourth is livelihood and economics. Yes, man needs to work in order to survive his livelihood. Man sustains himself by doing some economic and social activities while working for his livelihood. जब वो अपने livelihood के लिए काम कर रहा है, man differentiates between life sustaining and life destroying activities. People engage. earn their livelihood through two types of activity life sustaining activity life destroying activity for example a worker earning a wage in a armaments armaments factory jahan bola gola barood bante hain basically pro production of armaments is an economic activity that provides livelihood to many workers but its contribution to survival of society is in doubt Although people are earning their livelihood from wages, a working armaments factory, but its contribution for the survival of society at large is doubted. All people, जो भी है, all work according to his knowledge level. Everyone performs his task. All people and professional planners plan their economic activity according to their knowledge and technology. But the big question here is. to what extent do these planners make use of economic theories and facts in reaching the decision kahan tak economic theories and facts ka use karte hain in reaching a decision how good are the results question mark such questions need to be asked by humanistic geographers last religion every culture has religion all of course in communism atheist are there atheism otherwise religion is present in all cultures at varying degree and the impact of religion varies from culture to culture and from person to person in india if you see the meat business is mo mo mostly carried out by muslim jains are mostly traders jains ko kabhi tum farmer nahi dekhoge ya fauj mein nahi dekhoge jains are traders because of their religious influence certain martial races like rajput jat ahir you will find them in forces bulk of them are in armed force so religion has its impact religion has its impact in the profession that a person chooses so these were the five themes of ufi twan now humanist humanistic approach gives active and central role to human agency human awareness human creativity human consciousness let me give briefly explain these four also very important four pillars of humanistic geography then we will conclude now human agency ye mante hain man is the main agent that brings about change on his earth surface bhai sahi baat hai man is the chief actor that acts on this surface with the help of his tools and techniques and brings about change on the physical environment man is an actor and he influences nature nature means natural environment by his tools and technologies this is close to possibilism where man is active agent of change that's it human agency second ह्यूमन अवेयरनेस देखो अवेयरनेस और कॉन्शियसनेस में जमीन आसमान का अंतर है बींग अवेयर एंड बींग कॉन्शियस अंग्रेजी में दोनों का दोनों का मीनिंग एक ही निकलता है बट एक्चुअली इन फिलोसफी 
here you are working at higher level here this level is slightly lower consciousness being conscious in english both means same exactly difference we'll discuss human awareness how much you are aware of your surrounding consciousness how much you are conscious at your mental and spiritual level human awareness man has knowledge ab har jagah tumhe geographical jud jayega geographical ka koi matlab nahi hai knowledge man has geographical knowledge this simply means man has knowledge about man environment and from the day of his existence when he came on this planet his awareness related to environment is increasing awareness means knowledge information we are we are getting more and more informed being informed and being knowledgeable is different awareness is used in both the context but here the context is our awareness about man environment relations is increasing since we came on this planet man very much knows the limitation and possibilities what are his limitations by his awareness he know what are his limitation what are his possibilities and that is how he acts thick human consciousness this is completely different isko inhone mental image se compare kiya hai but it is far more than see it is the level of your consciousness people have are having different levels of consciousness even non living objects have consciousness higher the level of consciousness lesser the amount of effort you need to put in if your consciousness you can either you have inborn or you can create it i give the example of avilash barnawal who got 44th rank he was not having geography optional but he was my student cs geography two or three hours study he used to he cracked this upsc exam with 44th rank two or three hours sir nahi ho sakta log jhoot bolte hain sab kuch hota hai beta 12 ghante padh ke bhi log nikalte hain aur do teen ghante padh ke bhi nikalte hain maine khud dekha hai knowledge hard work is a basic requirement what amount of hard work you need to put in depends upon the level of your consciousness they people of very high conscious rishi munis are having so high consciousness they just desire and things became present tumne socha aur cheez aa gayi without effort effortless yes it is there it is your level of consciousness lekin yahan par consciousness unhone bahut low level pe use ki hai consciousness simply mental perception humans are governed by mental perception that is human environment which reveals his consciousness what type of image a person will make depends from class to class and from various literacy level a uh, illiterate people person and a well literate people they will make two different types of image people with varying material culture they will make different types of image the consciousness vary humans are governed by mental perception or human environment which reveals his your mental image reveals your consciousness because what type of image you are going to make depends on your attitude if you are a very positive attitude you will always perceive things very positively bahut badhiya maza aa gaya and the degree to which you are negative you will attach meaning negative meaning to it and try to either neutralize it or make it negative it is your consciousness consciousness with people with high consciousness have very positive attitude it's very difficult to keep positive attitude always in this real world it is natural for those having high consciousness kehte hain the mental image that you make depends upon reveals your consciousness what type of image humans make use of perceptions and mental maps it is close to behavioralism in this section it becomes close to behavioralism and here it was closer to uh, human agency it was closer to possibilism man as an agent of change human agency so consciousness here they have co co consciousness as they, they say whatever mental image that you make mental perceptions you have that reveal about your consciousness what quality of consciousness you are having the better image you will make and on the basis of those image you will behave 
what type of behavior you reveal now last is human creativity 10 saal ruk jao artificial intelligence will be a very real reality and we people's having creativity the only or thing that people have apart from animals people can think creatively creative thinking is the only asset that differentiates man from all other living and non living beings human creativity humans are creative and nature is neutral nature acha bura kuch bhi nahi hai it is neutral everything is neutral you attach meaning to it man is creative by his creativity he can efficiently utilize the nature and by way of his lack of creativity he can lead to wastefulness humans are creative and environment is neutral due to his creativity man can modify the environment to suit his well being for his benefit but man's creativity varies with circumstances it was said by maxwell molds people rarely think human creativity varies with circumstances when you are pushed to the wall you find nothing there your life is at stake you will start thinking creatively exam jab ek mahina pehle reh jata hai dimag badi tez kaam karta hai kyun dar lagta hai you start thinking creatively when only when you are pushed to the wall left with no other alternative otherwise you you are expert at finding the alternative only when you are left to nothing winston churchill is was a very good thinker used to think at least once in a month hum jise thinking kehte hain wo recalling hoti hai thinking nahi hoti hai thinking is something different might be you might be thinking once or twice in a year hum log basically there was a person i in forward he did his phd from canada on thinking only one person has done he was an indian ram paul ram paul is the only person who has done phd on the subject thinking matlab थिंकिंग बचपन में बच्चों को केवल एक चीज सिखाई चाहिए क्रिएटिव थिंकिंग जो कि गॉड गिफ्ट होती है डे ड्रीमिंग इमेजिनेशन क्रिएटिव थिंकिंग बच्चे नहीं डोरेमोन देखते हैं उड़ते हैं हवा में हम लोग क्या फालतू की चीजें बिकॉज वी आर वी हैव दिस प्रेजेंट पैटर्न ऑफ एजुकेशन किल्स द क्रिएटिविटी इट फोकस ऑन क्रैमिंग एंड लर्निंग इन द पैटर्न ऑफ इवेल्युएशन इज ऑल्सो आउटडेटेड pat in world over world over except japan wahan pe practicals hain this pattern of education kills creativity creativity to ye cassette bacha hai bachcha class mein baitha hai khidki se bhaag de raha hai ma'am daatti hai jo listen here wo kuch soch raha tha bichara kuch imagine kar raha tha uske imagination ko wahin pe maar diya revise it learn it learn it show it to me bas ratne lag gaya wo bhi kya kare creativity we have by birth and as we grow this creativity goes on decreasing and we become more routine more accustomed to the real world we become more mechanistic and robotic now let us come on to conclusion what is conclusion of human geography then we will discuss the comparison of humanism with behavioralism then we will come on to radical approach according to lay and samuels there are two primary characteristics of humanistic approach humanistic approach has two primary characteristics anthropocentric and holism Leon Samuel said there are two primary characteristics of humanistic geography it is anthropocentric it focuses on how through human existence space is transformed into place it is through human agency human existence space is transferred into place what is the difference between space and place yes mujib can you tell me what is the difference between 
हाउस एंड होम मकान घर मकान तो कोई हर घर एक मकान होता है लेकिन हर मकान एक घर नहीं होता एवरी हाउस एवरी होम इज अ हाउस बट एवरी हाउस इज नॉट अ होम हाउस इज कॉमन स्पेस इज न्यूट्रल हाउस इज न्यूट्रल हियर यू हैव फीलिंग अटैच टू इट सेम एग्जैक्टली सेम स्पेस और प्लेस में एग्जैक्टली वही अंतर है जो मकान और घर में होता है हाउस एंड होम यू हैव सर्टन फीलिंग्स अटैच टू दैट प्लेस टू दैट स्पेस देन इट बिकम्स अ प्लेस इट बिकम्स अ प्लेस इन एंथ्रोपोसेंट्रिक इट इज एंथ्रोपोसेंट्रिक इट फोकस ऑन हाउ थ्रू ह्यूमन एग्जिस्टेंस और ह्यूमन एक्सपीरियंस स्पेस इज ट्रांसफॉर्मड इन टू प्लेस यस वी बिल्ड सर्टन फीचर्स ऑन इट वी स्टार्ट आइडेंटिफाइंग दोज फीचर्स विद आर सेल्स एंड इट बिकम्स अ बॉन्डेज एंड स्पेस बिकम्स अ प्लेस द सेकेंड डिस्टिंग्विशिंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स of humanist geography is holism it studies the things in entirety exactly what blash taught in possibilism holism that is the tendency of humanistic approach is to see phenomena in their total context in their total context now second feature of humanistic geography humanistic study humanistic study in geography is concerned with either the study of individuals ya to wo individuals ki study karti hai or it studies the behavioral environment either it studies individuals or it studies their behavioral environment humanistic study in geography is concerned either with either the study of individuals and their phenomenal environment means behavioral environment or with the anal with the analysis of landscape as repositories of human meaning what does it mean see uh ya to individuals ko study karti hai ya unke behavioral environment ko and whenever it studies space it analyzes space as repositories of human meaning a person has created repositories means place where things are stored place where things are stored human activities human settlements landscape is a repository of human activity and various type of patterns found by man that is cultural environment ya to aadmi ko padegi ya uske culture ko padegi bas iska physical art se bahut kam lena dena are you getting the meaning of this either they study individuals or their behavioral environment or even if they study environment and landscape they analyze the landscape as a repository of human meaning man has attached meaning to this landscape by his socio economic political activities by constructing certain features that is cultural landscape is pure line ka matlab hai cultural landscape got it landscape as repository is the storage of human meaning man has given meaning to a space by building constructing houses settlements turning it into space and giving it a name attaching it a identity and having bonding with that identity that is man's meaning to landscape third humanistic geographer perceive geography as a process not as a con content geography what it is lived what does not exist humanistic approach in perceives geography as a process rather than a body of subject content koi subject content nahi hai it is a process batayenge kyun kehte hain geography is something which is lived
this approach believes that each one of us with are born with a geographer's antenna hum sab geographers hain why every human human being who perceives who explores experiences and acts in space ye kaam har aadmi karta hai any individual human being who perceives takes perception explores experiences or acts in space is a geographer being a geographer is nothing more than necessary working of human mind we all are born with geographers antenna reviewing the current practice in humanistic geography johnston very important j o h n s t o n basically hua kya tha 1920s or 1930s mein chicago university mein there was a revolution pragmatism came into being and pragmatic approach has huge bearing on humanistic approach pragmatic approach has huge bearing on humanistic approach or pragmatic approach kehti hai hum zindagi bhar cheezon se experience karte hain we experience we conclude our belief keep on changing where again we experiment react with environment we get new experience again our beliefs get changed beliefs fixed nahi hai they keep on changing as you grow as you mature as you experience your beliefs keep on changing unless and until you have put a ceiling on your growth what happens people just grow old in age they don't mature basically this pragmatic approach is very good and huge impact of this pragmatic approach is felt on humanistic approach ye kehte hain ki tum jis when you interact with a person suppose you go to a stick house tum cigarette dhuwa udate ho to jaoge nahi sardar wahi to laat maar ke bhagayega सरकार सरदार अपने घर से बिकॉज दे डोंट डोंट प्रिफर स्मोकिंग राइट ऑन द अदर हैंड यू गो टू अ मुस्लिम फ्रेंड बॉटल इन योर हैंड इस्लाम प्रोहिबिट्स एल्कोहल यू विल बिहेव इन सिंक विद हिज बिलीफ सिस्टम एंड इन दिस प्रोसेस यू लर्न अ लॉट यू बोरो लॉट ऑफ बिलीफ सिस्टम फ्रॉम दैट पर्सन रिव्यूइंग द करेंट प्रैक्टिस इन ह्यूमेनिस्टिक जोग्राफी जॉन्स्टन very recent 1991 find that much of the research in humanistic geography has been concerned with exploring and analyzing the subjectivity of human behavior they are never judgmental judge karna behaviorism ka kaam hai kyun se theories and laws banane humanist neither is concerned with theoretical base not this concerned with formulating any theories its sole op- objective is to study man in his environment that's it it says the much of the research in humanistic geography has been concerned with exploring and analyzing the subjectivity of human behavior or human action subjectivity means unpredictability of human action this approach has been influenced significantly by philosophy of pragmatism developed by chicago school of sociologists in 1920s and 1930s pragmatism is a very good philosophy a very real philosophy ye kehti hai pragmatism portrays life what is the approach of pragmatism it has huge bearing on humanistic approach pragmatism portrays life as a continuous process of experience you daily you keep on experiencing experiment evaluation and changes in belief bhai daily kya hota hai tum har din kuch seekhte ho agar seekhna chaho to life tumhe bahut kuch sikhana chahti hai ab tum hi kundu hue baithe ho to kya kare life gives matlab life take test before giving you teaching otherwise you always study then you take the test but in practical life first you are tested then you get the lesson तो ये कहते हैं लाइफ इज अ कंटिन्यूस लाइफ इज अ कंटिन्यूस प्रोसेस ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस एक्सपेरिमेंट इवेल्युएशन बाय विच बिलीव आर कंटिन्यूअली बींग रिकंस्ट्रक्टेड बिलीव बनते हैं टूटते हैं फिर बनते हैं फिर टूटते हैं ऐसा नहीं है जिंदगी बस वो लोग चिपके खड़े रहते हैं जो 
कूप मंडूप होते हैं अदरवाइज अूमन बींग हु इज ओपन हु इंट्रैक्ट हिज बिलीफ सिस्टम विल कीप ऑन चेंजिंग सच रिकंस्ट्रक्शन इज अ सोशल प्रोसेस सच रिकंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ बिलीफ बाय एक्सपीरियंस एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड एवेल्युएशन इज अ सोशल प्रोसेस अब ये कहते हैं सपोज यू मीट अ पर्सन हैविंग डिफरेंट बिलीफ सिस्टम यू विल इंट्रैक्ट विद हिम अकॉर्डिंग टू हिज बिलीफ सिस्टम ऑब्वियसली सच रिकंस्ट्रक्शन इज अ सोशल प्रोसेस वेयर बाय इंडिविजुअल लर्न एंड बिलीव बिहेव वेयर बाय इंडिविजुअल लर्न एंड बिहेव इन द कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ द बिलीव of those with whom they interact they learn a lot when you go and meet a sikh his view of life will be different if you are smoker it will be very difficult for you if you go and meet a muslim live in muslim culture you won't find wine isn't it i have never seen any muslim having wine in my lifetime log kehte hain ek sardar ko zarur dikhaye beedi peete hue maine kaha kya yaar tum sardar ho beedi carpenter tha ho nahi ek main ghusa main ghusa to ek labor beedi piya tha na कल नहीं है तेरे को सदा जी खड़े हुए हैं तो बोलता है देखो उधर सदा जी भी बीड़ी पी रहे थे मैंने पहली बार लाइफ में किसी सदार को बीड़ी पीते देखा नेवर और बाय चांस मेरा मिल, मिलना ऐसे लोगों से हुआ है मैंने किसी भी मुसलमान को वाइन पीते नहीं देखा होते होंगे एक्सेप्शंस तो बेसिकली व्हेन यू इंटरेक्ट विद दीज पीपुल यू नॉट ओनली बिहेव इन अकॉर्डेंस टू द बिलीफ सिस्टम यू ऑल्सो लर्न फ्रॉम इट यू ऑल्सो ये कह रहे हैं Uh, reconstruction of belief whereby individuals learn and behave in the context of the beliefs of those with whom they interact unke belief system ke according wo behave karte hain and they learn to sum up to conclude the central focus of humanistic approach has been beautiful has been to describe and appreciate the variety of human experience भाई वो मैन को स्टडी करती है इट डज नॉट जज हिम गुड और बैड वाई ही एक्टेड नो ही डज नॉट बिलीव वाई बस ही एक्टेड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इतना स्टडी करती है बट ही स्टडी इज द ह्यूमन बीइंग ह्यूमनिस्टिक अप्रोच द सेंट्रल फोकस इज हैज बीन टू डिस्क्राइब एंड अप्रिशिएट द वैरायटी ऑफ ह्यूमन एक्सपीरियंस इन डिफरेंट प्लेसेज एंड डिफरेंट लोकैलिटी द वैरायटी ऑफ ह्यूमन एक्सपीरियंस now it was this humanistic approach that came into being in mid 1960s it was this era when positivism and quantitative revolution were universally accepted at that point of time it made its mark felt and brought man to the center in no way it is a mean achievement last line in the context of prevailing climate in 19s mid 1960s us samay ki socho jab quantitative revolution positivism were at the peak humanistic geography's contribution in making this geography man centered or people's geography focused on the study of social construction of space was no mean achievement yes but its objectives were different it was not making governing laws nor it was making theoretical base obviously such approach it was even not a approach he said this we are solely to we are solely here to study human uh, reaction to nature we are not here to judge whether it is good or bad got it so this humanistic approach is over now uh yaar abhi comparison of human geography and behavioral geography it's very important to kal karte hain ya abhi continue kar le thoda sa hi hai aadhe 15 minute mein ho jayega kar lete hain now ab basically genesis of human geography lies in behavioralism behavioral versus humanism behavioral approach humanistic approach iski इसके रूट्स लाइज इन बिहेवियरल अप्रोच वील डिस्कस लेकिन ग्रेजुअली द फोकस ऑफ द टू बिकेम डिफरेंट बिहेवियरल जोग्राफी बिकेन एन बिगेन इन अटैचमेंट टू बेकिंग थ्योरीज एंड लॉज और बेसिकली इन ट्वेंटीज मिड ट्वेंटीज एक रिवॉल्यूशन आया न्यू पॉजिटिविज्म 
a movement where behavioralism, quantitative revolution, and positivism were merged as three branches. It became a part of that. By behavioral approach, sirf itna kehti, human behavior should be taken into account. He was, they never said human beings are free, they can bring about changes in their life like humanism. They were never focused on human welfare or human, not human welfare, that is welfare geography, human nature interaction in a neutral way. They were also bent upon making theories and laws. In a way, they provided a new way of probable theories to this quantitative revolution and they became part of each other. Neo-positivism was a movement, I will discuss later on, where all three became one. It is known as neo positivism, behavioralism, quantitative revolution, and positivism. A movement where all in mid 20s there was a movement where all three became one. This is known as neo positivism. Let us see. This has emerged from this, but later on they depart parted their ways. See how differently. I told you both have certain common themes, both are multidisciplinary, both are anthropocentric, both believe, believe in possibilism and both reject determinism. But apart from this, they are antithetical, exactly opposite to each other. Aisa log kehte hain. Though human geography shared with behavioral geography, a general concern, dono mein common theme ye thi, that is for interpreting human behavior. Huh? Let us interpret human behavior in terms of what goes on in human mind. Aadmi ke dimaag mein kya chalta hai? Yaha tak to dono same thi. Thik hai, we are ready. Tum kehte ho to, we are ready to. Lekin behavioral geography later utilize this for making laws. Humanists say, what you are doing? Our purpose was to study human, not to make laws, binding laws on him that he has, he is bound to follow. Yehi log alag ho gai. Both human and behavioral geography shared a general concern for interpreting human behavior in terms of what goes on in human mind. Iske baat kya hua? In behavioral research, the focus was on verifiable measurement. When wo aage bade in behavioralism. Fundamental difference in behavioral approach, focus when they studied human behavior, their objective was goal of replicable. Ye language samjha raha hun. Goal of replicable and verifiable measurement. Those behavior which can be repeated multiple of time, unka objective kya tha human behavior padne mein? There are certain behavior in given a stimuli, there are certain behavioral patterns will be produced and in a given scenario, man will repeat these behaviors. Second, this behavior should be measured. The sole objective was to make theories and laws. See the fundamental difference. In behavioral approach, focus was on goals of replicable and verifiable measurement. Malab, those behavior which can be repeated and which can be measured so that some theories and laws can be made. These replicable goals and verifiable movements, verifiable measurements were oriented towards deriving theories of spatial behavior. Replicable means repeated, a verifiable measure, measured. So the theories may be formulated. In humanistic research, emphasis was on understanding the world as seen through the eyes of individual. That's it. World as seen through the eyes of individual. Nothing more than that. For humanistic research, emphasis was on understanding the world as seen through the eyes of individuals whose behavior was under investigation. Behavioralists were trying to find out repetitions in their behavior and measure their behavior, but human geographers were least concerned. They were, their emphasis was on understanding the world as seen by human eyes. Humanistic geography can be defined as approach to human geography 
which is disting distinguished by the sensitive and active role that it gives to human awareness, human agency, human creativity, and human consciousness. Whereas, thus, human geography is an attempt towards understanding meaning, value, and human significance of life events. What is the significance, meaning, and value of the events in human life? It is solely concerned with humans. The conceptual difference between behavioral and humanistic approach is so much that scholars believe that both are completely opposite of each other, antithetical. Why? First reason, why they are opposite. Behavioral geographer treat man, man as response to stimuli. Wahi jo deterministic kehte the. Deterministic kehte the and why man is what? Nature ka, nature stimuli jante ho, stimuli matlab when someone instigate you, stimuli, someone instigates you. Man responds to the stimuli, determinist stimuli nature ko maante the. ये जनरल कहते हैं बेवलिस्ट बेवलिस्ट कहते हैं मैन का जो रिएक्शन होता है वो किसी इवेंट के लिए होता है स्टिमुली मतलब एनी इवेंट दैट कॉजेस मैन टू रिस्पॉन्ड बिहेवियरल ज्योग्राफी ट्रीट्स मैन एज रिस्पॉन्स टू स्टिमुली सो इट इज कंसर्न विद आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ हाउ डिफरेंट इंडिविजुअल्स रिस्पॉन्ड इन अ पर्टिकुलर स्टिमुली और हैपनिंग स्टिमुली मीन्स एनी इवेंट इनका ये पर्पज है सोल पर्पज इज बिहेवियर अप्रोच इज कंसर्न विद आइडेंटिफाइंग हाउ डिफरेंट इंडिविजुअल्स रिस्पॉन्ड टू अ पर्टिकुलर इवेंट नाउ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द रिस्पॉन्स दे फाइंड आउट द सिमिलैरिटीज दे फाइंड आउट द सिमिलैरिटीज बाय आइसोलेटिंग द कोरिलेटेड नेचर सम ऑफ द रिस्पॉन्स आर सिमिलर दे फाइंड आउट द कोरिलेचर रिस्पॉन्स रिस्पॉन्स हैविंग सिमिलैरिटी by isolating the correlated nature of these different responses they find out the similarities in these responses the behavioral geographer have attempted to build general theories and models that can predict the probable impact of a given event is event mein log is tarah behave karenge iski theories bana di are you getting it in a given stimuli means given happening different individuals will react they find out the similarities among these reactions by isolating the correlated nature of these various responses correlated nature of various responses and they build general theories and models so they can predict what will be the reaction in particular stimuli inka end product hai the end product of behavioral research is to give input to environmental planning हाउ टू प्लान एंड बाय फ्रेमिंग थ्योरी दैट इन दिस सीनेरियो मैन रिस्पॉन्ड लाइक दिस सो बाय चेंजिंग द सीनेरियो यू कैन चेंज द ह्यूमन रिस्पॉन्स दैट इज यू कैन कंट्रोल द ह्यूमन रिस्पॉन्स बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है प्लान थ्योरीज एंड लॉज आर फॉर्मुलेटेड टू प्रोडिक्ट दैट इज इन दिस सीनेरियो मैन इज गोइंग टू रिएक्ट इन दिस वे and if you want to have a different reaction the circumstances should be changed that is with a view to mold things in a desired manner with a view to matlab pehle to tumne theory bana li is in this event he will react in this way and then you started predicting and then you started controlling the behavior by changing the circumstances man will behave in this way you are molding or shaping the behavior Are you getting my point? In contrast, humanistic approach treats man as an individual ceaselessly interacting with his environment, and in that process, he transforms not only environment, or but he also himself gets transformed. The interrelationship between an individual and his environment. is viewed as a particular event bus ek event ki tarah man interacted with environment in this process he shaped the environment and environment also impacted him this is seen simply as an event bus 
नॉट एज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सम साइंटिफिकली डिफाइंड मॉडल ऑफ बिहेवियर तो वो आदमी ने ऐसे बिहेव किया लॉ बना दो नो दैट इज नन ऑफ दर पर्पज इट इज सिंपली एन इवेंट टू नो हाउ मैन रियक्ट इन डिफरेंट सिचुएशन टू स्टडी मैन टू स्टडी ह्यूमन हाउ मैन रियक्ट डिफरेंटली इन डिफरेंट सिचुएशन दे हैव नथिंग टू डू विद लॉज एंड थ्योरीज नाउ दिस दिस इज क्लोज क्लोजर टू पॉसिबलिज्म पॉसिबलिस्ट यूज टू से दर इज नो नीड फॉर थ्योरी एंड लॉज ह्यूमनिस्टिक अप्रोच सीक्स टू रिवाइव रिवील मैन टू हिमसेल्फ दिस अप्रोच सीक्स टू रिवील मैन टू हिमसेल्फ एंड एनेबल हेम टू डेवलप एंड इंट्रैक्शन हिम टू डेवलप एंड इंट्रैक्शन इन वेज दैट विल बी सेल्फ फुलफिलिंग मतलब it studies the human behavior in different scenarios may, makes some conclusion okay and then it reveals man to himself if you act like this your outcome will be more self fulfilling are you getting it it is nothing more than an advisor it does not try to infer anything why man behaves like this but it is simply says these are the ways you are behaving and it gives input to human behavior about himself it reveals man to himself so that he can interact more efficiently the two approaches cannot be combined for one simple reason since the concept of behavioral laws are not in sympathy with the humanistic view that men are alone responsible for their circumstances and the destinies are free behavioralists isko support nahi karte humanistic approach believes men alone are responsible for their circumstances and their destinies are free this is not supported by behavioralist tum kahin bhi notes mein pad lena kahin nahi likha hai tumhe shayad confusion ho raha hoga bahut dil pad raha ho behavioralism ne aisa kabhi nahi kaha hai nahi manti hai now see this revolution kahan gaya new positivism behavioral geography see geography as one of the social science Behavioral geography, see geography as one of the social science. Behavioral approach works within the philosophical and the methodological tradition of new positivism. A movement, new positivism, was a movement in early twentieth century, which blended together the three themes of quantification, behavioralism, and positivism. Three no, one ho gayi. This behavioral approach. सीक्स टू एनहांस इसका ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या है सोशल इकोनॉमिक एंड पोलिटिकल एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर जोग्राफिकल पैटर्न वेरियस जोग्राफिकल पैटर्न विच आर प्रोड्यूस आर द रिजल्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन इंट्रैक्शन विद अदर ह्यूम इन सोशल इकोनॉमिक एंड पोलिटिकल स्फियर एंड दिस इज हाउ द वेरियस पैटर्न आर इवॉल्विंग इट स्टडीज टू स्टडीज वॉट टाइप ऑफ पैटर्न विल बी प्रोड्यूस इट ट्राइज टू फ्रेम थ्योरीज Behavioral approach seeks to enhance the social, economic, and political explanation of geographical patterns by adding one more dimension, that of psychology, human perception. These patterns are also shaped by human perception. Bus, unni ke saath ho gaye. Now, humanistic geography is far beyond the constraints imposed by. साइंटिफिक मैथड इसको लेने ही देना नहीं है इट इज फार बियॉन्ड द कंस्ट्रेंट इम्पोज बाई दी साइंटिफिक मैथड बिकॉज इट इज लीस्ट कंसर्न विद थ्योरी एंड लॉ मेकिंग इसका मतलब ही नहीं है उसके द ह्यूमनिस्ट द ह्यूमेनिटीज ह्यूमनिस्टिक अप्रोच अलाइन इट सेल्फ मोर विद ह्यूमेनिटीज दो एरियाज ऑफ स्टडी दैट एक्सप्लोर द सब्जेक्टिविटी और अनप्रडिक्टेबिलिटी ऑफ ह्यूमन बिहेवियर टू पीपुल टू प्लेसेज and events matlab ye wo padti hai human behavior is subjective it is unpredictable to various people various events does it seeks to provide people oriented insight into the purpose of human occupation of earth that was the difference beta similarities you will get but differences are far more important kyunki you will see this humanism behavioralism radicalism and welfare geography all are having same but they are different right so tomorrow we will start with radical geography 
and we'll finish radical and welfare geography very important and go through the questions you will not find a single short note which is a main kisi question ko dekh ke nahi bana raha hu all the content where i can lay hand on jahan jahan se mil jaye aur bilkul relevant jaise ufi tuan ki panch themes four pillars of human geography how it is different so after understanding it cram it so tomorrow we'll again meet at the same time and within 2 3 days i will have to go to my native place i'll let you know before eh tomorrow we'll have the class aur ye notes abhi to whatsapp karte hain